is good on the menu, just order something. <laughs> Well, the, the more hospitable of those servers is going to be the one who is pretty relaxed. The one who does take time, the one who listens, the one who is patient. Was Martha this day going to be a happy servant if she was feeling put upon? Martha today is so busy being busy, so busy feeling as if she's a martyr that she can't take time to savor the moment. She can't take time to enjoy the fact that Jesus is in her home and visiting with her and her sister. She can't take a break to hear what Jesus has to say. The story of the Good Samaritan and the story of Mary and Martha need to come side by side here for us. They need to be here side by side to let us know there is no one right answer for all of us. There's no one Christian faith fits all. All of us have a message that we need to hear that's tailored to who we are and to what our needs are. There are times when we need to be doing but there are also times when we need to sit and listen. There are times when we need to hear what God is saying to us. All in all for us, there is a need, a necessity, for a balanced kind of spiritual life. If the lawyer is sitting around all the time pondering all the finer points of Scripture, pondering them so much that he has to worry about who is really his neighbor, then maybe he should get up and do something instead of sitting around thinking all the time. And if Martha is so busy that she resents the work she is doing, then surely she needs to take a break. If she can no longer serve cheerfully, she needs to have a time out. She needs to get centered on why she is doing what she's doing so that it makes sense for her again. I have known many church volunteers as well as church professionals. And since I'm in a church where I don't know you all that well, I can't be accused of singling out anybody here. But I have to say I've known many church volunteers and many church professionals who have become so busy at being busy, they have lost sight of the spiritual side of their lives. They have lost sight of why they're doing what they're doing. For those folks, it is time to sit and listen. For those folks, it is time to take a break, to hear what God is saying to them. I have personally spent a lot of time being Martha. I don't like it when I think that my service is not valued. I want Jesus to say to me, well done, good and faithful servant. I want the people around me to tell me how good I am. And it's hard, really hard, for me to listen and hear Jesus say, stop and listen. Maybe you're too busy. Maybe what you're doing isn't all that important. It's just something to keep you busy. It makes me feel virtuous to be busy. It makes me feel good to be needed. But in today's message, we're hearing Jesus say that we need to attend to our spiritual side as well as that sense of servanthood. Only when we have a balanced approach to what we are doing, 
Will we really be able to serve God with a cheerful heart, giving with love? We are called to do, but to do with a cheerful heart. We are called to servanthood, but we are called to serve on God's behalf as God's hands in the world. If we can't do that with a cheerful heart, if we can't offer that up as a gift freely given, then it really isn't servanthood. Then it really isn't a gift. It's a grudge that we are offering to someone. So here we are. We have two passages of scripture side by side in the Bible that seem to almost contradict themselves. And yet, I think, for us, it is a call to live a life that balances that kind of servanthood with that kind of listening and hearing and taking time out to be spiritually nourished. I hope this is a time of nourishment for you today, and I hope that as you go from this place with the spiritual nourishment that you receive by worshiping and fellowshipping together today, you can carry that with you into the work week so that you can serve others with a cheerful heart. May God bless you in all you do this week. Amen.